If you're anything like me, you're running out of tokens and you're running out of services to pay for. I am constantly playing around with different image generation tools and platforms and I finally got to the point where I decided, you know what, I need to download this for myself. I need to be able to run this locally. I have a relatively good computer so I was confident in the fact that I could run Stable Diffusion locally. So I thought I'd show you guys a quick little tutorial on how to set it up. First thing you're going to want to do is set up a Hugging Face account. Then you're going to want a GitHub account. You're also going to want to download Git for Windows. Then once you've downloaded Git for Windows, you're going to want to run the bash. Next, open up your file explorer, create a folder. You can just name it AI or whatever else you want to name it. We're going to right click, click copy, head on back over to our bash and type in CD and then paste what you copied into the bash. Next, we're gonna head on over to GitHub and we're gonna type in automatic 1111 or just head on down to the link in the description of this video. And while you're down there, go ahead and like this video too. But you're gonna download automatic 1111. You're gonna click on code and it's gonna show you this URL. You're gonna click this copy button and then head back over to the bash. You're gonna type in git space clone space and then paste that URL that you just took from git. And then once you hit enter, it should run a script. And as it's running this, it's gonna download everything that you need into that directory folder. Next, we're gonna hop back over to Hugging Face. You should already have had an account here. We're gonna type in Stable Diffusion. There's a ton of different Stable Diffusions. I like to use the original. So scrolling down, you can see download weights. You're gonna click on sdv1-4.ckpt. So this is gonna be all of the information that Stable Diffusion is gonna need to do what you want it to do. It is around four gigabytes going to take a little bit to download, but go ahead and let that download. While that's downloading, let's download Python. Head on over to python.org, click on downloads, and you're going to want to download Python 3.10.10. At the time of this recording, that's the most stable release. I tried it with 3.11 and it was kind of weird for me, so I'd rather just use 3.10.10. And you can go ahead and ins install Python. All right, next we're going to head back over to that folder that we made. It should be populated with all of the stable diffusion stuff that we downloaded from Gitbook. You're gonna find the Stable Diffusion web UI folder, you're gonna find models, and you're gonna find Stable Diffusion. Then you're gonna see a, a file, a text file, it says put Stable Diffusion checkpoints here. So, that thing that we're downloading right now, or maybe you pause the video and it's already done downloading, you're gonna to wanna to put Stable Diffusion in here. And this is what allows you to run Stable Diffusion. So after that's in there, we're gonna hop back over to the Stable Diffusion web UI, scroll all the way down, and we're gonna look for web UI user dot bat. Once you double click on that, it should open a command prompt. It's gonna run Python, it's gonna download some things, it's gonna run this script. It's gonna take a little bit of time to download, but this is what's going to allow you to launch Stable Diffusion. So every time you wanna launch Stable Diffusion, you're gonna click on this. It's not gonna take super long every time you run it. The first time you run it, it's just gonna download a bunch of things. But once it's done, you're gonna have a local URL, a local IP. And if you take that IP and copy and paste it into your browser, it'll open up with Stable Diffusion. Congratulations, now you are running Stable Diffusion locally. There are a ton of different things to play around with here. You got text to image, image to image, extras, PNG info, checkpoint. You can train, you can deform, there's settings, extensions. There's a lot that you can do here. So so sit back, have some fun, play around, and see what all of these different systems are. You can type your prompt here, you can pr type a negative prompt. There are a ton of sampling methods. Go ahead and play with all of them to see which one you like the most. You got the width, you got the height, batch count, batch size, different seeds, everything that you get from all other stable diffusion UIs where you go on a website and they charge you for tokens. They're just charging you for exactly this. So stop paying for this stuff and start doing it yourself. The more that you can learn how to, the better off you're going to be in this industry, especially with all the AI that's popping up left and right. This is just going to be the best way to go about things. If you like these types of videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And with that, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.